What's going on, friends and family? Welcome to Mel's Block. My name is Jamel. Listen, today I want to talk to you guys about something that I have not spent a lot of time on, and that's the Asbury Revival. But I feel like there's a couple things that I really want to touch on today. And 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 so Holy Spirit put it on my heart. And so I'm just going to share a couple things with you. Listen, the Asbury Revival was a spiritual awakening that occurred at Asbury College. While the events had profound impact on many people's lives, I'm sure there are several misconceptions about the revival that can be dangerous, right? And so I just want to share with you guys three misconceptions that I've kind of been thinking as I've been watching this whole thing, and and I would love to know what your thoughts are as well. The first misconception is that emotional experiences alone are enough for spiritual growth. Right, the Asbury revival was characterized by intense emotional experiences, um, such as weeping, crying, speaking in tongues. However, some people might assume that that these experiences alone are sufficient for spiritual growth without the need for continued study, the need for continued prayer or or uh, uh disciplined living. This is a dangerous misconception because it can lead people to focus solely on their emotional experiences rather than cultivating a holistic, balanced spiritual life. Listen, as believers in Christ, we we have to move past the emotion and 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 get into the spiritual. We have to move past the physical and get into the spirit uh, spiritual. So you know the misconception that when you have emotional outbursts or or emotional things take place that that means that you're growing closer to God spiritually it's not true you have to do the things that the holy spirit in the text tells us to do to grow spiritually here's the second misconception that uh that revival experiences are universal right the asbury revival was a unique event that happened in a specific context and and with a specific group of people now, some might assume that similar revival experiences can happen anywhere and to anyone, but this is not necessarily true, so we have to be careful here. Revivals are extremely complex events that depend on, on, on a lot of different various factors, including the uh, cultural and social context, the spiritual maturity of the individuals involved, and most importantly, the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Assuming that revival experiences are are universal can lead people to expect a particular type of spiritual experience without discerning whether it is appropriate or beneficial for them. So we have to be careful, right? God, God, God may be doing something over here with the, with a certain group of people for a specific reason that he may not be doing over here for a specific reason, right? So we want to be be careful that we don't fall into that misconception. Now, here's 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 the third misconception that I have for you is that revival experiences are proof of spiritual superiority. Some people might assume that 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 those who have experienced a a revival are more or more spiritually advanced um, uh, uh, or holy, really, than those who have not experienced a revival. And we have to be really careful with that misconception because it is dangerous this is a dangerous misconception because it can lead to pride, it can lead to arrogance, and it can lead to a lack of humility. The Bible teaches that humility is a key virtue in the Christian life and that no one is superior to others based on their spiritual experiences or achievements. We saw this with the church of Corinth. You know, God had blessed them so, so much, but those that spoke in tongues thought that they were better than this group. And those that did this thought that they were better than this group. And so we have, we have to really be careful of this misconception because like I said, it's, it, it's extremely dangerous. Assuming that revival experiences are proof of spiritual superiority can lead to a, to a divisive and unhealthy spiritual culture. So listen, I just wanted to share these three misconceptions as I've seen them kind of roll out throughout this process. Again, I'd love to know what y'all's thoughts are on this. This is your man Mel with Mel's Block. I'll holler at you guys next time.